Genesis T-Line synthesizes 24 transmission line structures. T-Line has two modes, standalone and advanced. In standalone mode, you input physical dimensions and T-Line will tell you the electrical characteristics. Standalone T-Line can also synthesize physical dimensions from specified electrical characteristics. To start, go to New Item, Syntheses, and click on Run T-Line. You'll see an error message about some incompatibilities with Windows 7. This won't affect the synthesis though, so just press OK. Now you'll see the standalone T-Line window. The Units menu lets you switch between metric or English units. The Type menu lets you select one of 24 different transmission line types. These can be broken down into two categories, circular or rectangular. Let's look at the rectangular microstrip. At the top of the window, you can see transmission line characteristics. In the lower right, you define your substrate characteristics. Next to that, you have design parameters. You can see the corresponding parameters on the picture. An asterisk indicates that a parameter is synthesizable. Click the Synthesize button to synthesize that parameter. Enter your desired impedance. I'll use 50 ohms. T-Line has automatically calculated W for 50 ohms. All the transmission line characteristics have been updated with the new parameters. T-Line can also synthesize coupled transmission lines. Let's look at a coupled slab line. Coupled lines have even and odd modes. We'll synthesize the necessary parameters. Here, you can either enter the even and odd mode impedance, or you can enter the impedance and coupling. For more information, look at the T-Line Help section. Click on the Help icon in the main Genesis window. Then go to Synthesis and T-Line. Take a look at the Standalone Operation Help section. This has a complete standalone operation reference and a useful example. There are also help sections for each of the transmission line types. Here you can find a description and some useful tips for each of the 24 different transmission line types. Now, we'll take a look at Advanced T-Line. Advanced T-Line converts electrical circuits from schematics to physical layouts. I'll demonstrate with a 1500 MHz bandpass transmission line hairpin filter that was synthesized with M-Filter. Press Z on a schematic to make it fit the screen. Press Ctrl A to select all the parts in the schematic. Then go to the schematic menu and click on Convert using Advanced T Line. In the Advanced T Line window, you can select from 13 different transmission line processes. 
I'll demonstrate using MicroStrip Standard. The conversion frequency is already set to 1500 MHz. I've chosen to add discontinuities automatically and to use chamfered corners and symmetric steps. You can absorb discontinuities, which will make the design smaller. No substrate is loaded yet, but Genesis will prompt us to choose one when we press OK. You can load a substrate or create one. I'll load one from the library. Choose a suitable substrate for your design. I'll use Rogers RO3003 1 ounce ED 30 mil. Then press OK. T line converts the design to physical dimensions. You can see the discontinuities that are automatically added, including chamfered corners, bends, and open stub end effects. Now the design can be converted into a layout. Left click on the schematic and click on Add Layout. The layout is created, but all the parts aren't connected properly. Press Ctrl A to select all of the parts. Then go to the Layout menu and click on Connect Selected Parts. I'll also center the schematic on the page. Then press Z to zoom it to full. You might have to connect the parts again. From here you can proceed to produce this layout. Or better yet, simulate it using Momentum 3D Planar Electromagnetic Simulator. Now, you've seen me demonstrate standalone and advanced T-Line. Open up Genesis and try for yourself.